Now, this is a stage that I think benefits you from, pl from playing Dark Story first, because as you're gonna see here, so we're in... This is the space colony yeah. arc. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Yeah, this is... This is a really great introduction level to the for the art because it's, as you see here, it's all like dark and like kind of creepy. It kind of has a creepy atmosphere going on because you don't really know what's here. And like it's your first introduction to this place. So you, you don't really know what to expect. And it gives you that sense of like interest. I, I don't know, like it, it makes you interested interested in what's here like you you don't really know what to expect and you're curious but at the same time kind of fearful of what what uh, what's to come and as, as you go when you go back here for like the hero characters and whatnot this place is completely livened up like there's whole all lights everywhere it's not dark anymore and there's just so much so much more that you can see in that at that point so like it just it just makes it have more much more build up if you play dark story first uh, for the arc like if you play hero first you're instantly going to see bright lights everywhere and the kind the build up that could have been there is just lost and it's kind of a shame because most people are going to play hero first because it's just a natural instinct really I was just kind of like, I, I, my mindset was, uh, was kind of like, I want to end with the hero guys, I want to, and I want to see, like this is the first time we get to play as a, the evil character, the uh, evil characters, for lack of a better, for lack of a better word, and it's refreshing to see that in a Sonic game, so I went for Dark Story first, and I honestly don't regret that just decision at all because again it for it, it definitely benefits the arc making it feel like um it, it, I don't know it just makes it feel really cool like seeing how it develops over the over the course of the of the game's timeline and there's gonna be a gold beetle here yep okay cool Yeah. I will honestly say I'm not too big of a fan of this stage in the uh, HD re-releases because they made it way too light, like way too bright, and it completely ruined the, the whole point of this stage. And yeah, like they, they, it was really dark in the Dreamcast version from my from what I've seen. So, they made it a little bit brighter here, which isn't too much, but it's, it's like enough to make it so it still it still has that, like, foreboding atmosphere, and, uh, but you can still see enough for it to not be frustrating. But then the HD re-releases made it so it was way too bright, so it ruined any sense of, any sense of, like, immersion in that regard, and... No, I, I don't know, like, I'm not saying the HD versions are bad, like, some people would say, would say they are, and they, like, they have a lot of, lot more, a lot more problems than the, uh, GameCube or Dreamcast versions do, but, I honestly don't see what they're saying, because I played, uh, both the, the GameCube and the HD version, and I don't really see many differences besides some, some different lighting and all that. Indeed. Hey there. I've been waiting for you, Doctor. Now, I will show the glorious achievement of what the world's leading scientist, Professor Gerald, has created. The Ark was the first space colony created by mankind. 
People know that the op contained a top secret research facility where weapons of mass destruction were being created. This is one of them. A weapon capable of destroying an entire planet. Codenamed the Eclipse Cannon. Destroying an entire planet? Was this my grandfather's legacy? But it's been deactivated for some time now. To reactivate it, large amounts of energy are necessary. Oh, so that's why we needed the Chaos Emerald. Exactly. To reactivate the machine, we need the seven Chaos Emeralds. Once you have that, then you have the ultimate power of destruction to use as you please. And then, the world could be yours. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. I like the way you think, Shadow. I will get the Chaos Emeralds. Machine to dominate the world and build a legacy you really of my own. Think it will be that easy? I've got a great idea. How about making a deal? A deal? When you grabbed that huge emerald, you said something about a reaction. A reaction that it may have with the master emerald. Now, if you could just let me borrow that radar, I may be able to help you. What do you think? If I do, what's in it for me? I have an idea where the other Chaos Emeralds may be. It may not look like it, but do you know that I am a treasure hunter that specializes in all kinds of jewels? Very well. Okay, then. It's a deal. I don't think we've been introduced. I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. Having to come back isn't my idea of a vacation. How can you be sure your intelligence reports are correct? Why would the Chaos Emeralds be here on the island? I'm absolutely sure. Well, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> very well, very well. Let's discuss how we are going to do this. I will go in first and distract the military troops, allowing you to sneak in the base without being detected. Then. Shadow will enter the operator, where he will set the timer on these dynamite packs. Once that is in place, we will blow up the whole island and get away before anyone has a chance to know what hit them. Meanwhile, you'll have to sneak into the cargo area and grab the Chaos Emerald. That's a challenge for such a worthy treasure hunter as yourself, isn't it, that girl? We only have 30 minutes to pull this mission off, and we only get one try, so don't fail me. Oh, we're getting two for the price of one. All right, this is one of the the best um, backstages in the game, I think, because uh, it, it's just a, a flower power trip for Eggman, and you just blow up so many mechs that are just not uh, powered up right now, and you get just points galore. And this, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but I really love how they did the ranking system in this game because. It's ta they made it so every every stage and every mission is designed fairly with how many points you need. Because if it all had the same, if they all had the same amount of points necessary for an A, almost an S rank, for an A rank, it would be just flow impossible. So like stages like Weapon Sped have like much higher um, scores that you need to that you need to achieve and. It feels fair because there's so many op opportunities to get so many points. So, you know. But yeah, like um, I I don't think I don't know if I mentioned this either, but every level also has besides the raising levels, um, every level has a um, special power up, 
And we've only been getting the story, uh, most of the story specific ones so far. Uh, as well as a few optional stuff like the Mystic Melodies. Um, I might end up showing off the optional power ups in an extra video. Like, I'm still kind of, I'm still not really sure what I'm going to show off uh, in the extra stuff. Like, I know I'm going to show off the Chara Garden. I'm going to show off Green Hill and uh, maybe a few optional missions. I don't, I'm not going to show off like at all of the all of the missions because that's gonna take a bit too that's gonna take a bit too long um but still i'm definitely i'm definitely gonna show off a few hard mode stages i kind of uh, uh like I, I i was kind i talked about them a bit too highly before like I still think they're a really cool addition, but uh, they don't change levels as as much as I said they would. Like, I actually played a few of them, uh, not too recently, but I I I I, I played a few of them uh, like after the Hero Story run, and realized they weren't as different as the regular stages were, as I said they were. Like, they are still different enough to warrant like a full like an actual hard mode and all that, but. It, they're more. I don't think they're as different as, say, like uh, the. Uh, uh, was it the, as as say the hard mode stages in Unleashed or maybe even Heroes? But still, yeah, you just get to destroy all of these. Just mechs lying around. Like you don't have to do any of this, but. If you want to get a bunch of points, then hey, feel free to re some havoc. Yeah, I knew that guy was there, but I still messed up. Alright, cool. Getting all the A ranks today. Okay, everyone ready? Shut <clears throat> up. On with the show. Oh, Sonic! I thought I'd never see you again. You know who Amy is. Gonna... Okay, that's a bad start. Okay. You actually were. Like, I was doing pretty bad on that. just say this right now when she said five minutes should be plenty she's not saying I'll oh, set the timer for five minutes she's saying oh I have five minutes to get the emeralds then the remaining ten minutes to 
get the ha hell out of this place. Like, people misinterpret that a lot. But, you know. Alright, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Alright, cool. Alright, lost child. Uh, I don't know what that could really mean. Up here, maybe? Cool. But yeah, the gimmick for this stage is that up here, there's three little switches. And these... Whoa! What the... Whoa, holy balls on a wall. Yo, I've never seen this before. I... What? Yo. I think I just glitched the game horribly. That was amazing. But no, um, there's like a bunch of like cells and stuff. Um, where, where if you hit the switch, if you hit like the blue switch, then the, the blue, um, the blue ones will be, you can dig through and open. And then there's yellow ones and then there's red, the red ones. So, yeah. Around here? Well, I know it's around this area now. Like, sometimes... Like, it's not often, but... Oh, it's this? That's kind of random. Six saves. Yeah, the saves. Can't... Don't, no, don't know why I couldn't think of what they were. <laughs> Right, is it? Please be the blue ones, because I don't want to have to waste time. Because you only can only have one uh, type of safe active at a time. Right, okay, we're gonna have to go. We're, we're gonna have to uh, waste a little bit of time here. But I, I don't mind the stage too much. Like, there's a little bit of time wa uh, wasted by having to go up here, because it's usually gonna be gonna be at least one emerald that's uh, where you're gonna have to change the saves but you know still it's not too bad it doesn't, it doesn't take too long but you just kind of just kind of have to expect at least one of these to uh, happen or whatever all right so let's just all right I can I can stop the crusher actually so let's do that Actually, that was bad. Oh, it worked out. That's gonna be a B, isn't it? Still on a roll. Now this is a pretty cool gunfight because it's using a uh, a boss uh, that's you that was des designed for the uh, the speed characters, and now they're using it for a a uh, treasure hunting character. And I wish that I kind of wish they did that kind of those kind of things more with this game. Well, I guess, I guess they kind of did with a a certain Eggman fight, but I don't know. Um, I I just. It's not very difficult, but I think it's a cool idea here. Like, it's always flying, and you have to use the environment to your advantage so you can la land a hit on it. And yeah, you can. It's easily you can easily defeat him, but it's a cool idea. Like, one thing I will say: most of the, a lot of the bosses don't over overstay their welcome. They're pretty quick, and that's good. Emerald. 
Yeah, she said if they made it five minutes, that that timer would not be like like slightly under ten minutes right now. Just saying. Right, white jungle. Alright, this is also a really cool- like, With the exception of the last stage, Shadow has some really cool stages in this game. Music's pretty nice there too, like... Shadow... Um... Shadow has some cool music, like... Um, I, I personally prefer the most of Sonic's uh, music in this game, but... He has some pretty good tracks too. I'll admit. And he also has lyrics that, where I can barely understand what they're saying half the time. Or like, n not even half the time, like 80 to 90% of the time. But it's all good. I shouldn't have jumped, that was my fault. Also, those little random pipes, if I just stand, I'm wasting time, but... You stand there, you can press B, you whistle out an animal, and, you know. Well, we can't do that yet, because we don't have a light speed dash. Yeah, similar to how Colors had it so you went back after you, gain, after you got um, a new color power to go to a different path. They're not as often, or, um, I, I'll say, but... That's kind of the same thing here, like, when you get a new power-up, sometimes you can go to a previously done level, find a new passage, find a new pathway by using the power-up you got, and, you know, it's it's cool like that. I, I like that kind of level design that uh, encourage you, encourages you to play levels again. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot less leeway in the stage compared to Green Forest, because there's, like, some room for error in that stage, where, like, on the sides, uh, there were, like, rails you could go, you could jump on if you, uh, like, fell off a little bit, but now you can't do that at all, so you have to be really careful. And... Okay, that's good. <laughs> the electric shield can actually screw you over if you're not careful, as you can probably tell. But yeah, Shadow only has four stages in this game, which is kind of a shame. Um, it would have been nice if we got at least one more stage in the armory when he's like saying the dynamite packs or whatever. That would have been nice. But, oh well. Because, I mean, Big, big and SA1, SA1 had four stages, so I guess it makes sense, but still. Because there's exact, like, okay, jeez. Because there's, uh, like SA1, there's 10 running stages. Um, there's, let's see, there's like f 9 treasure hunting and uh, mech stages. Because there's, because Tails has one, one uh, racing stage and so does Rouge. So, yeah, it'll be like nine stages for those two playstyles. And then there's two kart racing stages. Or five if you count the, uh, the optional racing mode. I think you're the big hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Huh. I'm gonna try something actually. Alright. Ah, come on. No, I don't do that. Yes! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that backfired. Okay, what I'm trying to do is you hold. Um, for the period of time where you're holding B and not in spin dash, 
uh, you're not in the uh, a ball. It actually like acts as an attack, <laughs> so we can just run up to Sonic, hold B, and then it still counts as, an, as a hit, and it's freaking hilarious. No time. You can also do that to uh, go under passages that require the somersault early, so that's cool. Like, it, it basically, like, acts like you're, you're doing a somersault when you're not. But it's pretty precise. There, there's not a lot of, like, time frame between, like, using the somersault and activating the spin dash. So you have to be fast about it. said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I, I will find the answers. Maybe. Oh, you'll get your own game soon enough. Maria. That will answer more. Why almost nothing, nothing, I'll be honest. That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Everything is ready to go. Are you sure? We only have six of the seven Chaos Emeralds, you know. That's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the show on the road. Dude, <laughs> that's not something you'll ever hear modern shadows say. Citizens of Earth. Wait, robotic is what? I was trying to read what was on the on the little thing there. Why are you so upset? Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the cannon will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential. You'll need all seven Chaos Emeralds. Where in the world have you been? Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, Batgirl. What about that one? Chaos Emerald. We had a deal, right? So where is my Emerald? Here you go. I found this. Why didn't you show me this before? This 
Station Square saved from a life-threatening missile attack. The city has awarded its famed prize to the boy who saved Station Square. Miles Tails per hour was given the Chaos Emerald as a testament of his heroic deed at a ceremony held at City Hall. <laughs> yeah, I like that little callback. I wonder how many, how much time has passed actually from SA1. I will continue my research on Project Shadow and have a follow up report very shortly. I'd assume not that. I, I'd assume it would, it, it, this game doesn't take place that much later because. If it's just talk now talking about Tails getting a reward from that, it has to be like pretty recently. But re regardless.